Hey, what is going on everybody? So today I have another gaming chair review for you. Now this one was sent to me from lovedoc.com. Make sure you check out their website. They have a lot of gaming chairs. Also they have other executive office style chairs and indoor and tons of indoor and outdoor furniture as well, okay? So make sure you check them out. Now this right here is the Ikea racing gaming chair and I'm gonna show you um, pretty much everything you need to know about this chair, okay? First thing I want to mention is my height, okay? It's very important. I'm six foot one, about 186 centimeters. And if I put this straight up, you can see. And if I sit down on here, first thing I want to do is I want to show you the lowest that it goes, okay? So the lowest that it's going to go, oh shoot, that's the lowest it goes, okay? The highest it's going to go, is right here and my feet is still pretty much flat on the floor as you can see here now the backrest here if I move it all the way up oh that's the furthest it goes up so it's just like this now what's cool is if you want to move it back of course you have a lot of different levels but this one actually goes all the way back where you can lay down okay you can actually go all the way down and now from here you can go ahead and take a nap okay oh, let me move this up a little bit So it's quite comfy here. Another thing is too, are these armrests. Now this is really cool. And of course you have different adjustable height levels. Okay, you go all the way up. This is the highest it's gonna go. Just like this. This is the lowest, okay? And of course you have different heights in between these as well. Another cool thing is too, is you can move these out and in. Let me move this up. You can move it all the way in and you can move these out as well. All right, so let me show you what else we got on here too. I mean, this is P PU leather, as you can see here, and I'll take you a close up in like one second, but you can see we got the headrest pillow on here, and this is kind of like a bigger size. If you guys are familiar with like other gaming chairs, I, I have quite a few of them, but they're, they're usually like smaller. This one here comes, it, it's a little bit bigger. This is, I think this feels better if you're like laying straight back down. Uh, also, you have the lumbar or the, uh, the back rest uh, pillow right here and of course these are all adjustable too you can you can move this up you can move it down the headrest here too you can actually if you don't want the headrest you can take all this off you can even take this lumbar support off as well and how you put it back together i mean it's pretty easy i mean they're all just on straps here you can see and let me just put the uh the headrest back here and how you just put the headrest back here you can just go through one of the loops like that and then grab this loop, pop that on there, just like that. Now the wheels are pretty decent. I mean, these are standard like gaming chair wheels. Uh, I mean, it's okay on rug, okay on laminate floors. And you can see I can kind of move this around a little bit. I can... Don't have any squeaks on it so far, but I've only used this for about a week now. So, so far so good. And why don't we go ahead and move a little bit closer and I'll show you, show you more details of this chair, all right? Okay, so here's a better view of the chair here. And the armrest too, this is not all plastic. It's a little bit like rubber. You can see my finger kind of going down. Some of the cheaper um, gaming chairs, there is just pure hard plastic on here, okay? And there's no buttons to move these, adjust these. You just simply just use your hand and just adjust it however you want. And you can see the uh, PU leather here. This is just like standard. PU leather, and it's a, quite soft. You do have a lot of padding on here as well. And you can see the uh, lumbar support here, and I'll give you a closer look at the wheels. You can kind of see the wheels here. And again, here is the headrest. It's pretty soft, nice and cushiony, as you can see. Let me show you the back here. I kind of like this chair because it doesn't actually have the name brand like showing. Sometimes when I'm doing videos and stuff like that, there's trademark issues so you can't show like any branding in the background. So I think that's uh, pretty cool. It's just plain, simple, and sleek. Well, there you guys go. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, just comment below and I'll try to respond to you guys. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.